welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Monday, so there's a new video up on the channel. I am, I like to say I'm pretty consistent. I've been pretty consistent these past three weeks. Pat on the back for thumbs. Okay, so today I want to talk to you guys about five things I can't live without. These are things that not only I'm obsessed with, but I wouldn't like die, but like I would die if I didn't have them. So let's get started. So first, I have some sandals. These are like some really cute sandals my dad brought me when he was like somewhere out of the country or whatever. And they're so cute. Like they're so they're so cute. Or did my dad get these for me, or did my dad? Yeah, my dad got these for me, and they're super super cute. And I included this in the video because I can't live without sandals. So that's my number one cannot live without item: sandals. And it's not even these specifically; it's just sandals in general. Like, I have to have sandals on 95% of the time. I don't like to wear close-toed shoes, as I've mentioned so many times previously. I don't like close-toed shoes, so I could not imagine my life without sandals like who am I I need sandals my feet need to breathe I have to have on sandals like you you won't catch me three days in a week like wrote like day to day to day with tennis shoes on or close -up shoes on I have to have sandals on I have this phobia of like my feet sweating or like not being able to breathe and I don't like to have my feet like enclosed it makes me feel like claustrophobic like how I don't really like wearing pants like i'll wear them but i like to wear dresses i like to feel free so same thing with my legs and my feet i like to feel free sandals i can't live without them okay second item my second item is kind of weird but it's a rat tail comb i actually just had to teach um Haley. i don't know if you remember her from the last video the bff tag i had to teach her like what the name of this was because she didn't know what it was <laughs> so it's a rat tail comb I think I feel like everyone should know what this is it's like really thin and like kind of sharp um like when you touch it to the palm of your hand and it's really 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 thin it's like the most it's like a rod almost so it's like a rat tail or it's not like it is a rat tail comb I it's probably so like ration me but I love rat tail combs like I don't like to dig in my hair with my nails, especially like if I have acrylics on. I mean, either or. I don't like it if I have acrylics on. I don't like it if my nails are without acrylic. I don't like digging in my head. I just feel like that looks really weird. And like, to just be somewhere and just be, like, that makes you look dirty. Like, what you scratching? Like, what you looking for? Like, I don't like that. So, though, I won't pull out a rat tail comb and go to a restaurant and be like, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> If it's like somewhere where no one can really see me, I'd much rather prefer bring out a rat tail comb to scratch my head versus like my nails and just and I will literally have a panic attack if I can't find this. I I'll I'll, I'll tell you this one one little story. When I was in um, my sophomore year of college, it was Halloween and we were going to a Halloween party, like a costume party, obviously. And for some reason, for the life of me, I could not find this comb, and I was just. Where is my comb? Like, what's going on? Like, what happened to my comb? Freaking the f out. Like, I was just, I was besides myself. I was really, really upset. So, my roommate, my um, good girlfriend from um, high school, she was like, Thelma, like, it's okay. We can look for it later. Like, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, you don't understand. Like, I can't look for this later. I need it now. Like, I need to be able to know that. I don't even know. Like, I can scratch my head or, like, what? Like, I was going to be scratching my head in the middle of a Halloween party. No, but, like, I think I just wanted to know that I could scratch my head before we headed out and like leave my rat tail comb at home in a safe place. It's like, I almost treat it like a little dog, like a little like Maltese or like um, Chihuahua or like Yorkie, although I would never get a Chihuahua, but Yorkie, it's like you always have to make sure your dog is safe and like protected and where it's supposed to be before you leave the house. That's how I treat my rat tail comb. I need to know where it is. I need to remember where I placed it so that when I come back from wherever, whatever outing I'm out at, I get back to my door, my room, whatever. I need to know that when I'm ready, that rat tail comb is right there. That I can be line for it. So the fact that I was I was unable to locate it, that meant that when I got home, I couldn't be line for it. And I was like flipping shit. I was freaking out. I was really freaking out. I almost didn't go to the party, believe it or not. But um, my roommate convinced me to go, whatever. Ended up finding it. 
all the swell. So Rat Tail Kind of, I cannot live without. I literally need it in my life for the rest of my life. Okay, so my third item is Aquaphor. It is like Vaseline for your lips. And it comes in a jar form. But I don't like the jar form because it's nasty because like you're constantly sticking your hands in and like you're not always in a situation where you can make sure your hands are clean or you have hand sanitizer or whatever the case may be. So I like this little push out um, method. Sounds like a um, <laughs> Sorry you guys, Some, sounded like something else. But I like the fact that it can, um, <laughs> Now my mind is like messed up. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> the squeak. I mean, there's like no way I can say it without it sounding like dirty. So whatever. So it's, it's like this. And I like this one and I don't like the jar one because again, you don't have to touch this physically to apply it to your lips. It is like a self applicator so it can apply itself. So it's fine. So I really, really can't live without this because I don't like my lips to be crusty. I don't think anyone likes their lips to be crusty. And so I prefer Aquaphor. I used to use Vaseline way, way, way back in the day. And then I discovered Aquaphor and that's been my life, my homie, my friend, and my partner ever since. And it's gonna be all those things and above later in life. So yeah, definitely Aquaphor I cannot live without. Okay, so my last two items are things that I actually have with me. Well, one of them is. So the next item that I can't live without is earrings. I love earrings. And I know there's a lot of people or different types of people or whatever though. I know people like earrings. I know people wear earrings often, but like I think my earring obsession is kind of to, it's like next level. It's to another level. It's next level. Um, I just think when I don't have earrings on, I don't look as pretty like I don't look as like cute I don't look as appealing and I hate to be like so close-minded but that's just me I mean I'm just being honest I feel like other people don't look like as pretty or as beautiful as they could be if they had earrings on there's something I don't know if it's maybe the way I was raised there's something about earrings to me that just complete someone's face and for someone to not have earrings on it's weird to me like granted I have seen people that don't wear earrings that are beautiful it doesn't I'm not saying earrings takes away from your beauty like with with or without it or whatever but I'm just saying like I personally feel like earrings just make you even more beautiful than you are and even more like breathtaking than you are so when people don't wear earrings it freaks me out my friends will tell you this all day long if they don't have earrings on and they roll it up next to me that's the first thing I notice. Like, I don't even notice, like, oh, hey, Thumb, like, I don't even hear that. All I see is, do you, girl, do you have earrings on? Where are your earrings at? Like, you won't ever, <laughs> let me tell y'all something, you won't ever catch me anywhere without no earrings on. You ain't never gonna catch me. Like, you never, never. <laughs> Listen, I may say some things and, and people will be like, oh, she's just talking to No, I'm serious. <laughs> you won't ever catch me anywhere without no earrings on like you can hold me to that and and i will say this my mom like okay i have four piercings on this side and three on this side my mom hates them by the way but that i think that further proves or like it'll help you guys understand how much i love earrings because that's why i have so many it's not because i think it looks cool it's not because everyone was doing it when I got them done it was literally because in my mind I felt like the more earrings the better the prettier the like more appealing so to me it was like oh my gosh one earring is not enough I need like four or five I want I want these all to sparkle when I step out I want you to, I want to turn and be like ah! so like to me that was like my mindset that's why I have so many and I'm probably gonna get one more my mom's not gonna be happy about that but I just really really like earrings I really dig them and that's something that I cannot live without I won't live without you can't make me live without I'm aware of it so and then the last thing is also well that one is something that I don't have with me TV TV is my life TV is everything to me like it's so sad. I am not the person who's cooped up in her room. 
I don't have a social life. I'm just watching TV all day long. I definitely do have a social life, but I feel like I'm one of those people who balances having a social life and watching TV like a maniac really, really well. I watch more TV than an average person, I've been told, and that's true. I watch a lot of TV. You could ask me a quiz me any day of the week. I will tell you what TV shows are on each network. Like, that's how into TV I am. I just, And I like to think me and, um, she's like family, Crease, um, one of my friends, we have like this unofficial, official TV club. Like, you know how you have book club? We have like TV club. Like, we're constantly trading like thoughts, pers uh, perspectives, theories on different TV shows like Blacklist, Scandal, um, Used to be Revenge, R.I.P. Power, uh, all those different uh, Shades of Blue, all those different types of shows. And so she almost gives me this pressure like, Dom, you need to catch up, you need to watch it because we need to trade stuff. You're not going to come to book club and you haven't read the book that was assigned for book club last month. That don't make sense. You might as well not show up. So for me, it's like that with TV. So I need to be on top of it and I need to stay kind of... Um, on the ball with TV shows and not fall behind. So TV is the last thing I literally cannot live without. Yeah, so those are my five things. Let me know in the comments below what you guys' five things or more that you can't live without. I would love to hear them. I probably would relate to some of you guys' um, things that you can't live without. I just, I just shortened it to five, but I have so many that I can't live without. So I would definitely love to hear from you guys about your can't live without. Is that like a word? I don't know. But thank you so much for watching. See you guys next Monday in my next video on my channel. Peace and love. Bye. <laughs>